What's poppin'? It's your boy Daddy Yankee. I'm here cooking a chopped cheese on Follow My Recipe. Alright, boom. So listen, first things first, make sure this is on. That's mandatory because you can't cook if this isn't on, right? Oil. And then make sure the situation is smooth, just like I'm with your shorty. You know what I'm saying? Stir around the situation a little bit. Make sure everything's copacetic. Boom. You got that? Sometimes you need water. Sometimes you need to get it wet. Pause. Yeah. Emilio, splash. Obviously, you need the patty, right? Boom. Boom the situation. Obviously, you need a spatula. You can't do it with your hands. So, when you're making a chopped cheese, right? Obviously, you need the patty. You need the, they, you need the cheese, too, American cheese. All the other cheese, I'm not jacking it. American cheese is valid. Boom, we're gonna get to that. Hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Valid. My suggestion is, do it. you gotta cook this for like 10 minutes. Anything after that, it's gonna be a little overcooked. It's gonna be whack. So, me personally, I'm gonna flip this shit like every two minutes. We started at like 2.30. About to hit 2.32. Move the situation around a little bit. Once it starts turning color, it's time to season the situation. It's the, it's, it's, it's the pepper, right? Violet. Boom. Sasson. Adobo. Right? Mandatory. And on top of that, put the salt and the pepper. Regular. OD, too. I need my shit seasoned. This not too much though. Red ass soul shaker. There's a cap on it. I don't cap. That's why I didn't know there was a cap on it. So don't put too much. I have a heart attack. Don't want that to happen. Patty cook for like another minute or two before we start chopping the situation up. Season is mandatory. I ain't with none of that bland shit. Sometimes you can do the Philly cheesesteak. You're not doing the chopped cheese with the curly fries. It's like a deli shit. I'm on my ox shit right now. I'm the ox behind the deli right now. Me. <coughs> ABG ox. <laughs> it's been like four minutes. We're gonna start chopping the situation up. Chop this shit like some of my little pieces at first. And while, while it's cooking, we'll chop it up more. Chopping up the right way is the most important part because pause, the meat is gonna be mad big, pause, and you don't wanna be sitting there choking on this shit, pause. Voila. Once the shit's chopped up enough, you gotta make sure. I say you don't choke on it, pause. Cheese is mandatory. I'm gonna do two layers of cheese. I don't know if y'all like more, lay it right on. Oh, and I burn myself. That's because I'm hot and my block is hot. Damn, listen. You gotta let the cheese melt on the situation. So we put it on the cocoa bread, which I'm about to get into next, which you have to put it on, right? You eat a chopped cheese on regular bread, you're a dub. It's none of that. While the cheese is melting real quick, we're gonna let the cocoa bread toast for a second. Take the situation off. Boom. Boom, throw on the plate. Chop it up a little more with the cheese. Make sure it's valid. Boom, we just made the chopped cheese. It looked real good. You see what I cook? I'm a culinary artiste, right? But at the end of the chopped cheese, mandatory for the ketchup and mayo, none of that other shit. I don't know what we put on these shit, but this is mandatory. I don't like too much. Oh, hey yo. <laughs> Smoothly layer the joint. Mix the ketchup with the mayo. Smoothly spread that right there. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Trey Songs. I just made a chopped cheese, New York ox style, on Follow My Recipe.